Hello guys, Tob is here once again and we are back on the SNN server just looking at the land from the top of our pyramid here checking it out see the winter biome in the distance the forests on the opposite side and it's just a beautiful view from up here so I like to come up here and think I've been working on this area a little bit since the last time we've been on I've been struggling struggling to get this fixed and ready to go what I'm gonna do is continue this on flatten this this bottom part out make a basement and then do probably two more layers up top so that we can make some floors and what we're gonna do with this is the bottom will probably be a storage area and then the other two or three floors will I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it, but definitely the bottom is going to be our large storage area because we are in need of one on the server, much like with all our other areas. So that's the top priority in most of uh, my builds lately. Been working on creating some stone so that I can make stone bricks, as you can see. Uh, it's taken quite a while. Wow, what is up with? Oh my gosh, I should probably re enchant these because that's horrible. It's really bad but yeah like I was saying <laughs> I've been working on getting some stone and it's, it's pretty slow I made this higher so I can get more cobble from picking it because usually I get down to the bottom and then I'm just waiting and wasting time it's still a lot better than digging up all the caves down down beneath us but it's still pretty slow to gather it on apparently a creeper was here I don't remember this hole but a creeper came and visited so hello creeper remains and other than that some other things that I've changed are this right here it's different from uh, the original one we put up changed the housing of it so it's a little bit nicer looking I think a bit nicer than the half pyramid half house that we did so there's that and then inside is the same new design that I used for the uh, single player world so It'll be ready once we hit 1.4. We're still stuck in 1.4.2 in this world, but once it switches over, it'll be ready. So right now, it'll just do this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Because it doesn't work in 1.4.2, but like I said, it'll be fine once we get there. As for right now, though, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish this off. I'm not gonna bore you guys with doing that. So through movie magic, I'll see you guys in a second. Hopefully with this done, at least one floor, please. Dear Lord, let me finish one floor because this is, I've been working on this for a long time, just waiting on stone. That's all, that's all I've been waiting for is stone. But anyway, like I said, guys, I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so we're back here. That zombie in the distance just died. The other one's about to die. There we go. So we we're just cooking up some potatoes here. Spent some time gathering them because I was running out of food. I have a bunch of cookies and iron in my inventory because I finally opened Duncan's Halloween present for us. It's about a month late, but finally found the time to get around to it. So I just wanted to show you guys some other things that's been going on because it's been a few days since the first part of this video has uh, been recorded. I'm not even sure if I'm going to still keep that, but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on because I have been, these are just cobble around, weird. But anyway, so some things that I've noticed since we updated because we are now in 1.4.5. Look at that. So for some reason, every time I log off and come back in, the circuit or the clock breaks and then I have to like reset it. So I'll do this, right? And then I'll, it, it resets itself. But every time, like if I log off again or I leave the area, 
it'll break again. So like now it'll work fine. And whatever for whatever reason you have to update it. So I might I might redo the clock and like put a piston to to update the block next to it so it does that. But it's really weird. And other than that, I know that I've mentioned the sand generator not working and you guys have sent me updated designs for 1.4.5 but the problem is we are running a bucket server so despite updating it to the new types of sand generators the bucket server is not working with them so like this is the exact same design that I've used in my updated hardcore world so that that's updated to the the newest version of Minecraft and like I said, this is the exact same design, nothing changed at all, except for maybe that this isn't extended to the outside, which it was, I just moved it in. But if you look at it, and I always feel like I have to yell when I turn it on because it's really loud, this is what happens. So I don't know if it's just like lagged by the bucket server or what, but the sand just does not work. And I've tried to redo it a bunch of times. Maybe I was doing like circuitry wrong, but no, it's just bucket for whatever reason. I've looked on YouTube, I've looked on the forums for whatever reason, bucket's not working. So un unless they have a fix for it, like a, a new generator for bucket, um, I don't think we're gonna get a new a new uh, sand making machine. So that's really unfortunate. Hopefully they fix it. I know there's plugins for the bucket server that you can use to revert it back to the old way. But I don't know, we'll have to talk to Nubis and see if he wants to do that. Other than that, I've been working on this in here, among other things, since we have, we've last logged on. I've been gathering mostly materials. Off in the distance, you might be able to see it right there where my cursor is. There's actually a mini tree farm going on because I need wood for stuff. But this is what's going on inside the the pyramid. So these, this is the first layer. These are the other layers that we'll put. So there'll be a floor here, a floor there, a floor there, and then the top one with that little thing. Let's see if we can get on it real quick. Let's see if we can. Oh, <laughs> whatever. I guess I can't. But this thing right here is actually where the beacon will be once we get one. So that it'll just shoot out the top. It'll look cool in the night. And then down here is going to be our storage area. So I've already cleared out and leveled the sand. I just need to fin finish up the walls around the around the perimeter and then right there as you can see I've started the same type of floor. I'm thinking I might want to change the floor design just so it's not too boring colors like gray and then sandstone. So I don't know. I'm still thinking about how I'm going to design the actual storage area. So there's that. Other than that, I've been working on some stuff in here. Let me go ahead. I'll show you guys what Duncan Duncan gave us first. I'm not sure if that's gotten on video yet. Oop! I just hit my face into this. But he came over and gave us a happy Halloween present. Which was really nice of him. Very nice. And some pumpkins. And then inside here is where he had the cookies and the iron. So thank you Duncan. I know it took a long time for me to get this up. But uh, thank you dear sir for helping us out with some food. Oh man, I guess I didn't really need potatoes, huh? Cause I had cookies, but yeah, <laughs> thank you. And then we'll go ahead and show you guys what else we've been working on. So like I said, there's a tree farm over there. There's a bunch of birch wood. And then up here we have, let's load in. I wonder if that works. What if I throw Cause you know how like entities go through it. So what if I throw an ender ball through it? Nope. Never mind. I just go through. All right. So what? As you can see, there's a design to this place now. It's not just ugly old netherrack, which reminds me of another thing. Uh, I think recently on the Minecon, one of the Minecon panels, I think someone said that they wish that netherrack turned into nether brick or had a use, and I support that idea. A lot because I found that if I don't put it in a, um, if I don't put it in a chest, what happens is I just throw it away and it's it's gone forever. So there's so much of it that I think it does need to have a better, a better use than just being ugly building material. But anyway, back to what I was saying. This is designed for our little area. It goes. I finish it all the way through, other than the roof. So let me go ahead and show you that guys. That I'll ride through real quick. There's that. I'm thinking on the roof I want to put like a redstone lamp design, like maybe twinkling lights on the top. 
or maybe arrows or something cool. So it looks cool and lights it up because it's kind of dark right now and I think we still get a bunch of zombie guys running around. And I don't think half slabs work anymore in this update. Like half slabs can spawn monsters now. I said mobsters, but they can spawn monsters now. Oh yeah, and I have to do this one. So I have to do this and I'll fix that tunnel up and then finish the roof on here as well. But other than that, it's, it's pretty much done. Like the main part where it's just like getting rid of all the netherrack and that is pretty much done. So that's what I've been working on. I'll probably gather more material and maybe some glowstone for the roof. And then that's what we'll do for the rest of this episode. I don't think I'll be able to finish the... Oh man, I think my sounds got loud again. It, fe it sounds like they got loud. I'll jump down to 13 or 12 actually. But like I said, I'll go get gather some materials and then we'll finish this off. And then maybe, maybe, maybe if I have the time, we'll go ahead and work on the pyramid some more. So there is that. And then I'll see you guys in a second once we're ready to work on this. All right. Bye-bye for now. Alright, so we're back. I decided to do some mining for some material. So I was caving for a bit. But we are finished with the tunnel. Oh, hey, look at this guy. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? That went, like, right over my head. What the heck is that? I'm gonna go stab him. Aha! Get out of here. This isn't your tunnel, you crazy guy. You crazy guy. Alright. So, like I said, I was doing some mining. And this is what I came up with for this ceiling. And, oh my gosh, it took a lot of resources. Much more than I would have liked. Because, I mean, I had to resort to using things like melons. And I think there's snow. I might have to change the snow once I get some more iron or gold or something. But this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and take a ride and we can check out the final product for our tunnel. So there we go. Hope this guy doesn't push us back. All right, he didn't. So this is the this theme the whole way through. It's just a bunch of ore and fancy goodies. I've used all my special blocks pretty much. All my special ore and stuff. All my mossy cobblestone is gone. Uh, just about all my coal is gone, all my iron, <laughs> pretty much everything that I was hoarding is gone now. So, I mean, it gives me incentive to go go cave, so that's good. I, li I really like caving. And then, bam. I like this one more because it has a lapis, but I ran out of lapis, like, right there. So, unfortunately, I can't, I couldn't incorporate it throughout the whole build. It'll probably change, like I said, once I get more ore, but I like it the way it is right now. It looks, it's pretty. It's very nice. And then especially with the, uh, the glowstone every now and then, the tunnel looks a lot better. So, there that is. Hopefully the other guys on the server, if they ever visit me, they all enjoy it as well. But now, our plan... I also got this hole there. I should probably fill that out real quick. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill that up because I always jump into it. And uh, it's not nice to just have random holes around your place. This 13 sand is not enough, I bet. So there we go. Let's get 63 sand. That's probably enough. Let's see. Other than that, um, the server has been acting a little weird, I guess. I noticed the other day I was having some lag, like I'd open a chest and it would take maybe like five seconds to actually open, which was really weird. Um, very not normal for the server, so I definitely noticed it. I was talking to Morin because he's on right now and he's, I guess he's having some lag at the moment too. I don't know if it's just... It's just, I guess the server's just being random this week because uh, I noticed, oh, let's see this. Let's see if this works because I have logged off since it's going caving and finishing the tunnel. See, look at that. Every time. I don't understand it. Let's see what we have to do. Update this one, right? Nope. Update this. Nope. 
update this. Turn this on and off. Okay. Oh, and then we put this back. There we go. Of course. <laughs> I was worried for a second. I was like, oh no, it's permanently broken. But there we go. That is good. Let's see if it works now. So I still need to get another chest full of this. I got distracted by the mining, so I didn't actually do that. So that's what we can do. We can put this stuff in there. All those potatoes in the way, though. And then we'll finish the bottom and finally, finally, finally get that storage, storage thing done. So let's get those other potatoes out of the way. Come on, potatoes. Let's go, guys. You're not wanting in these furnaces anymore, little potatoes. Gonna have to eat ya. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna eat ya. Yet. But, um, let's see. Jukebox. Cat. I took the jukebox in the tunnel to work with. Turns out I forgot the, uh, record. <laughs> so I didn't have anything to listen to the entire time. But that's okay. I mean, sometimes you gotta just get get down to the, the dirty deed of tunnel boring I guess I don't know that's kind of dumb don't listen to me that was really dumb <laughs> so let's fill these up and then hmm, I guess we should put all of it right now just so it's ready by the time we're done man I need to clear this stuff out too so let's dump half of this junk in there we don't need this anymore on me Oop, we do need that this block of iron and then what else what else do we not need gas tier apples and I think that's it so we can fill up and then the sky is getting dark hope it's not raining it might be no I don't think so I don't think it's just going it's just turning nighttime that's all oh no we should eat too <laughs> Eating is probably a good idea every once in a while. Let's get, oh, darn it. Get back in there, you, you lazy record. There we go. Alright. So we are getting good on the smooth stone. Oh, he wants to sleep, so we'll sleep. There we go. Turn this bib in today. No problem, buddy. All right. And I think we have that chest still, so we'll go ahead and take that and start the bottom floor. Take as much as we can. All right, nearly the entire chest. And then start working on this. I'm not sure about the entrance yet either um, cuz right now I don't like how that's kind of offset so I might just like for the bottom at least turn this into a split like double stair and then have the entrance right here or something or I'll just do like a double entrance around the sides that would work too I wouldn't mind that but we still need to get the bottom floor done so that's what we'll do hey why is this not there there we go Oop, what the heck's going on? <laughs> what the heck is going on? Alright, so I'll probably do this off. Oh, what? Oh, darn it. Darn it. There we go. Where's that smooth stone? We don't even have an even number. Darn it. Huh. I don't need nether rack is what I threw out. So... I'll probably do this off camera like I was saying. Alright, welcome back once again guys. Swim into the surface here. I actually stepped away from... Where are we? I actually stepped away from the pyramid for a bit because I realized that I kind of did need to cave for a little to regain some resources. You can see in my hotbar down there, we got 50... Yes, that's right. 50 blocks of iron from this one caving run. And a few other goodies. I think we have a few more stacks of iron ore. I have left a big um, 
chunk of furnaces down there in order to uh, have room. But we have nearly two full sacks of gold. Uh, a couple diamonds. Not not too many diamonds. I wish we had more. Nice selection of lapis, redstone, coal, and a bunch of iron. Iron is uh, probably the best haul from that run. Now we just gotta figure out where the heck we are. So there's a jungle. Hmm. I don't know if this is our desert. Ooh. There's a, what's it called? There's a well, which I think is from our desert or part of our desert. Let's see. It's like, it looks like it was like blown up a bit. I don't remember if our well was blown up. That doesn't look blown up at all. It looks like it's just formed that way. Okay, well, I do remember seeing a well before. Now we just gotta find our stuff. I honestly don't even know if this is our desert. It might not be. Let's see. What we could do, worst come to worst, we can just spawn back and uh, go back to our spawn area. And then find it that way. But there's a jungle there. I and mean, I know I know we were adjacent to the jungle, so let's maybe run this way. I really want to get back. I haven't even started the uh the <laughs> storage yet. I actually I put oops, put all those uh storage materials or like the the start of it into the what is that? I mean, is that like a spawner? No, maybe, maybe, no, no. That's just weird. I guess maybe there was a cave there. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Hmm. No, maybe this isn't. Yeah, I think I'll just spawn back. Let's go ahead and take a picture of this desert just to save it for our records. Turn on F3 and then F2 and then we'll see. So we're at negative 1000 and positive 1500. That does not sound familiar at all, but spwan. All right, so let's head up. It's almost nighttime, so that's probably good. Don't want to have to deal with the creepy mobs. All right. Oh, and then we get to, um, we can fix the snow in the in our tunnel since I don't I really don't like the way the snow looks after riding through it a few times I was just like nah that's kind of icky so there we go it all works out there's our minecart and then we can put um, I'm gonna put lapis there because I like the lapis block a lot all right so this I like the watermelons though the watermelons are cool Maybe not with that many watermelons, but I still like it. All right, so where is the, uh, hmm, where did we put that snow? I think it's coming up if it hasn't come up yet. Snow? Snow? Oh, there it is. All right, so we might as well just silk touch it. Ah, oh, it takes, oh, it doesn't work, huh? Oh, well, we'll just shovel it. And then lapis, my favorite, one of my favorite blocks. Look how it looks better already. I like it. Oh, there's really lapis here. Hmm. And then we'll put some gold then. We, since we got so many, we can put some gold. Alrighty. Excellent. 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 There we go. And two more pieces of gold. And we still have a lot extra, so that's great. Excellent. I love it. Alright, so we'll head back in. And then we'll start the... Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Sleep. Eh. Hurry, get in bed. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, it took a while to sleep there. Alright. So let's head back here. Was there a wolf in the desert? That doesn't make sense. What are you doing here, guy? What you doing? 
<laughs> I love the way their face looks. Very friendly. Alright, almost there. Almost there. There we go. Home sweet home. And then, let's see how we're going to do this. I think we'll reserve one side. So this side right here will be like the crafting area side. So I'll put alchemy stuff, furnaces, and workbenches and other stuff like that. So all the crafting things. And then on this side, this whole side right here will be chests. And then each chest will have like just one item in it. So it won't be mixed. So that's what we'll do. Oh, we'll have to put some of this stuff in here for now then. So for example, we'll have like a chest full of saddles, a chest full of, uh, I don't know, gold, chest full of iron. And I'm thinking maybe just like separate iron blocks and stuff like that. And then tools. I want everything just to be like one, one thing in a chest. So it's not mixed. I think that would look better. And plus it's for some things I just get confused as, as to what, what category they fall under. So for my sanity, I'll, I'll keep, we'll keep it that way. So let's see. Uh, we'll put signposts like this. No, 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 no. Maybe. Hmm. So maybe like that and then signpost like that like that. All right. So we're back once again, I finished the first layer of chests and signposts. Well, I guess they're not signposts, but the fence posts to put the signs on. And I'm going to have to do some rethinking. I still need to get some more wood. This isn't going to be enough. So I'll probably do that while I harvest more wood. And I'm not sure because I don't like for one how this is kind of one just one wide. It looks like it's wider than one, but yeah, there's just one block in the middle. I don't like that. And uh, I don't really know if I like this design just yet because I, I want to figure out how to more accurately show like what's in, what's in each row. So I don't know if I want to widen it and then just have like posts showing like like a post up, ooh, maybe like post up here, showing like the general idea of what like what's what's in each row, so we could put like building material, um, or tools, stuff like that. Oh, I, I kind of like that. So maybe we just solved the problem there. So we'll we'll play with that idea. Let's see, one, two. Oh, this is confusing. Three. Oh, wrong one. And then four. All right. I like that. So it's kind of like a grocery market type of layout. I'm still kind of eh about this because it kind of looks eh. But I'll keep playing with it since I still need to get all the, the extra material anyway. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it here for now while I figure out a better design. And uh, thank you guys once again for watching kind of a random episode just because it's <laughs> so many days between each part that was filmed but thank you guys for bearing with me and uh, as always my name is Tobiz I will see you guys n -n 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 next time <laughs> ah you go that's what I got that idea from yeah <laughs> see you guys